In this video, I will show you the best and most explosive offense in Madden. Many players will tell you that it's bunch or bunch offset because all the pros are in it. What if I told you they were wrong and it was actually the Steelers offense? If you've been a follower of the channel for a while, you know that this offense is what put me on the map. Last year, we even called the best Madden player that we knew to come up with this amazing Steelers tight doubles offense. Yeah, absolutely. I can do that, 100%. I can definitely build you the best Madden 23 offense the world has ever seen. And many people have been spamming the comment section asking me to break it down. Now the Steelers offense is jam packed with three of the best formations in Madden 24. Those formations being gun tight doubles, gun trips tight end, and gun tight Y off. I'm going to break down all three of these formations, so make sure to stay tuned throughout the entire video. Let's first break down my favorite formation in Madden, the gun tight doubles. The first play we're going to be covering is shot fade cross. To run shot fade cross at an effective level, you only need to make one adjustment. Simply streak your triangle receiver by pressing triangle or Y on Xbox, doing it once again, and then pressing up on the left stick. Now, if you're playing a cover two defense, all you have to do is snap the ball and look to the outside fade with an outside pass lead and you'll have a pretty easy touchdown almost every single time. One thing that I do like to mention is that shot fade cross in general, whether you're playing any zone defense, is much better when you have the two receivers on the short side of the field. That is, they're much closer to the sideline. Now versus a cover two defense, you can do the exact same thing and I'd argue that it's almost 10 times better when you run it to the short side of the field as the safety almost has no chance of catching you and it's much more wide open. The other reason I like to have the two wide receivers on the short side of the field is because it's remarkably effective versus cover three. So in this case, I'm gonna call a simple cover three defense. And what you will notice is that this square receiver will be wide open on the sideline for a 40 plus yard gain whenever you make a simple pass lead out. And that's remarkably effective. Now versus a cover four style of defense, the fades won't necessarily be open, but they will push back the zones far enough in order for you to throw the circle receiver for an easy 30 plus yard game. So in general, shot fake cross is probably the best zone beater for a deep bomb in Madden 24. The next play we're going to be covering is cross wheels, which is the perfect play to work alongside shot fake cross. To run cross wheels to beat cover four, all you have to do is block your running back, streak your tight end, motion out your square receiver or the outside receiver and put them on a comeback. Now this does a fantastic job at beating cover four because this comeback will bring down the outside quarter, leaving this deep outside crosser wide open for a touchdown. So as you can see, when I snap the ball, the comeback will bring down that outside quarter, leaving that deep crosser for a wide open touchdown. To run cross wheels versus cover three, you're gonna make the same adjustments. Block your running back, streak your tight end, motion out your outside receiver and put them on a comeback. Now, the only thing that actually changes here, however, is that your tight end must be on the wide side of the field as opposed to the short side of the field when you're playing cover three. So what you will notice is the comeback will bring down the outside third and allow us to throw the deep crosser for a wide open and instant touchdown. And that's why cross wheels is so effective versus cover three and cover four defenses. The next one play touchdown play can be run from any play in tight doubles as long as you have hot route master. Now on this play, you pretty much have to hot route every receiver on the field, but you gotta trust me, it's worth it because this is the best cover three beater in Madden 24 without a doubt. So the first thing I like to do is cross my middle tight doubles receiver, streak my tight end, block my running back, fade the square receiver on the two wide receiver side of the field, and then put a corner out on my circle receiver and motion him over. Now I know that's a lot of adjustments and emotion, but the final play looks exactly like this. What will happen on this play is pretty amazing. The corner route on the left side of the field will bring down the outside third on the left side of the field. The crossing route going towards the right side of the field will bring down the outside third on the right side of the field, 
In that case, both the streak routes on the inside of the field will be wide open. So when I snap the ball, we're gonna throw the left side outside fade as soon as the outside third drops to our corner route for an easy and very fast touchdown. Now your other option on this play is the tight end. The crosser will bring down the right outside third, which will leave your tight end wide open for an easy touchdown. So what you can see is that this right side crosser will bring down the right outside third, and that will leave the tight end wide open. On the left side of the field, what you will notice is this corner route will either bring this guy down and out or just out far enough for you to throw this fade in this part of the field. And that's why that's the best cover three beater in Madden 24. Now, if you're looking to take this offense to a pro level overnight, you should definitely check out my Steelers offensive game plan on victoryformation.gg. It's jam packed with even more great plays to beat even the most skilled opponents. We also have my full heavy box dollar defense and over 50 game changing tips in the laboratory. Just two of these tips in the lab showcase the easiest way to beat man coverage and the best way to run the ball in Madden 24. Unlock everything for only $9.95 and take an additional 15% off with code SWOLO. Tight doubles might be the most efficient offense in this playbook, but Trips Tight End takes the cake for being able to beat the most common defenses for one play touchdowns. The first play I'm going to break down in this formation is verticals because it's remarkably simplistic and allows you to score very quick. To run verticals to beat cover two, you can pretty much leave it completely stock and just have your tight end on the short side of the field. What we're gonna be looking for here is just our triangle receiver, splitting the two safeties, catching the ball between them, and it's an easy touchdown versus cover two almost every single time. Now versus cover three, we're gonna borrow the same concept we used in tight doubles. So I'm gonna call it cover three buzz spy. And all I'm gonna do here is call this exact same play verticals and I'm gonna make two adjustments. I'm gonna block my running back, that's an optional adjustment. We're gonna crosser the circle receiver and we're going to streak our tight end. And once again, the tight end must be on the short side of the field. Now, what will happen on this play is the crossing rope will bring down the right side outside third, leaving the tight end open for an easy touchdown. So let me show you exactly what I mean. I'm gonna snap the ball, the crosser will bring down that outside third, and then this tight end will be a wide open touchdown versus every cover three defense in Madden 24. The next best play in Trips tight end is PA boot shot because it is remarkably effective at beating cover three for easy one play touchdowns. To run PA boot shot to effectively beat cover three, all we're gonna have to do is corner route our tight end and put a streak on our circle receiver. Now the reason this works is because the streak on the circle receiver will hold the inside third and the corner on our tight end will hold the outside third on the right side of the field, which will allow us to throw the deep post to McColl Hardman in the middle of the field. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Once you snap the ball, you can make a quick rollout to the right if necessary, and then you just throw this deep post route for an easy touchdown versus cover three. The next play I actually stole from Henry, who used it in the $300,000 Madden Bowl, and the play is called Deep In. This play beats cover three even faster than PA boot shot, and to set it up, all you have to do is streak your triangle receiver, motion him in, and snap the ball. And if you're really smart, you make a quick rollout to make this throw even easier. And what you will notice is that it's an easy dot right in between the safety and the outside third. And just to prove that it's not fluke, I'm gonna set it up one more time because that looked a little close. Once again, you snap the ball, just wait for the circle receiver to come open and then throw it wide open in between the safety and the outside third for an easy and fast one play touchdown versus cover three. No matter what play you called in gun tight doubles or gun trips tight end, there was not a single play that beat every coverage for a one play touchdown, but tight Y off actually has a play like that. That play is called switch wide receiver drag and it actually beats every defense in the game. No matter what coverage you're trying to beat in switch wide receiver drag, the tight end must be on the wide side of the field in other words, your two receivers must be on the short side of the field. Versus cover two, which is probably the most common defense you'll face when running a tight set like this, you're gonna leave the play completely stock 
and you're just gonna look for the deep post in between the two safeties. You're gonna throw it, take it upfield, and usually take it for a touchdown or a 50 yard plus gain. Now versus cover three, you need to make two adjustments. What you're gonna do is block your running back, just like so, and you're going to streak your tight end. And this is what the final play looks like. All you're gonna be looking for is this super deep post, which will get past the outside third, and you're just gonna throw it for an easy touchdown. And that'll be cover three pretty quickly, dependent on the speed of your receiver. You can use this exact same setup to beat cover for drop. Now we're just gonna block our running back, streak our tight end, and then snap the ball. And we're just gonna look for that deep post once again. And as soon as he passes that left side safety, you're gonna score an easy touchdown every single time. And that's why tight Y off switch wide receiver drag is a one play touchdown versus every single defense in the game. But that's every zone defense. So let's check out what it looks like versus man coverage. If you play something, let's say like spinner, right? Or maybe a cover one style of defense. What you will see is that you can actually throw the, this post very easily because it's a man beater. You can leave the play completely stock or even block your running back. And then all you're gonna do is throw the deep post and it's once again, an easy touchdown. And that's why for real this time, tight Y off, switch wide receiver drag beats every defense in match. The next best play in tight Y off is T corner, which fries both cover three and cover two. To run T corner effectively, all you need to do is put two streaks on the field. And once again, the tight end, should be on the wide side of the field. So the only adjustments I'm gonna be making here is I'm going to streak my tight end side outside receiver, and I'm going to streak my receiver side or two receiver side outside receiver. And then we're just gonna make a read on the corner routes. Versus a cover three defense, the left side of the field corner route will be wide open on the sideline for an easy dot every single time. Now versus a cover two defense, all we're gonna be looking for is the tight end on the deep corner route. You wait about a half second, and if you're really smart, you roll out and then throw your easy corner out for a huge gain and oftentimes a touchdown. With this offense, you'll be well on your way to winning more Madden games. And if you're interested in some top-notch defensive tips, make sure to check out this video right here.